Dante Wilder kept up his side of the bargain in the Anthony Joshua Stakes by dispatching Luis Ortiz with a brutal 10. Round knockout in New York, but the WBC champion was forced to dig deep and answer questions he has never been asked before. As a professional during a punishing seventh round barrage from the previously undefeated Cuban, then, having stayed on his feet, he regrouped in the eighth and the ninth before doing what he does best in the tenth, serving up another chilling knockout. The worst performance Moyes apologizes after West Ham defeat it was rock and roll Carvalho reacts to victory on West. Ham and City Pep Guardiola reacts to victory against Arsenal Dante Wilder keen to prove is the most dangerous man in division. Alan Pard defends Chris Brunt dressing room rant Tyson Fury trains by carrying log uphill on morning run winger Arsenal in difficult patch and lacked confidence I'm not happy. I don't like to lose Rafa Benitez reaction Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp reacts to victory against Newcastle, what a fight. People's ecstatic after terrific Wilder vs Ortiz match welcoming reception for England's cricket team at Dunedin footage. A Fiorentina captain training with his team members he has stopped every man he has ever faced as a professional and although it looked like he might not continue that streak against Ortiz. He changed the course of the fight in stunning fashion in the 10, Ortiz did well to somehow beat the count but he did. So on unsteady legs and he was in no position to defend himself as Wilder went for the kill and when a vicious uppercut sent him to the canvas again. Referee David Fields waved it off before he had even hit the floor with 2.05 on the clock, now Wilder can allow himself to dream of the riches he will glean from a transatlantic epic with Joshua, the Londoner, of course. Still needs to do the business against Joseph Parker in Cardiff on March 31st, when he will attempt to add the WBO belt to his WA and IBF titles. Whoever comes out on top in Cardiff will then surely face WBC champion Wilder in a unification fight for the ages which will render the first ever heavyweight champion to hold all four major belts at once, I'm ready right now, Wilder said. I always said that I want to unify, I'm ready whenever those guys are, I am the baddest man on the planet and I proved that tonight. This solidified my position at the top of the food chain tonight, soon there will be one champion, one face. One name that will be Dante Wilder, it's not about how big your muscles are it's about the heart, Wilder had to prove his heart in that memorable 7th round. But he maybe could have had the fight won far earlier than that, despite a nervous opening. He floored Ortiz at the very end of the 5th round but then failed to capitalize on it in the 6th and the pendulum swung dramatically in the 7th, the American was clinging on under heavy heavy pressure when the bell went and although he shook his head when he made his way back to the corner. It was clear that this pressure was different to any he had withstood in his previous 39 fights. A true champion always finds a way to come back, he added. Luis Ortiz is a crafty guy. The skills showed and he put up a great fight. I showed everyone I can take a punch. When he leaves tonight he can go with his head held up high. He hit me with flurries of punches but they didn't have any sting. They just knocked me off balance. I showed I am a true champion tonight. My grandmother told me a long time ago that I was anointed by God as it happened. All three judges had wilder up by one at the time of the stoppage but that perhaps does not tell the true story of the roller coaster fight. I feel fine. I did receive a right hand, but I'm okay, Ortiz said. I was listening to the directions that my corner was giving me. In the sport, any punch can end a fight, but in the ring anything can happen. Wilder will know that when he lands in Cardiff later this month. After undoubtedly the biggest win of his career, the 32-year-old will feel truly invincible and ready to take on whoever triumphs at the Principality Stadium, however he like the rest of the boxing world, knows that a Joshua victory will set up the richest heavyweight fight in the sport's history. But he countered, I don't care about popularity or who has the most money. I want to know who is the best in the world I want to make the sport about, who is the best. 
And tonight I did that. I am looking forward to Cardiff. I have never been there. I have a lot of friends in the UK. I am going to enjoy myself and look forward to fighting the winner if they are up for the test.